Hi there, welcome to another video tutorial with Ms. Ng. Um, today, I'm going to explain to you how to form quadratic equation given to you um, the alpha, beta are the roots of a quadratic equation 2x squared plus 5x minus 12. Now, you need to form a new equation if the roots is 1 over alpha and 1 over beta. So this is a slightly different variation from what we have learned in the previous video where um, I've taught you how to form equation if given the roots is a number or a fraction. Yeah. So in this case, what you need to do is to find the sum of the root for this particular uh, equation. Yeah. So sum of the root is given by negative b over a. Uh, it is fixed yeah, for all quadratic equation. So the b is 5, so it's negative 5 and the a is 2. Right, so sum of the root also means that alpha plus beta is negative 5 over 2. That's because um, the roots are alpha and beta, right? So alpha plus beta is negative 5 over 2. And the product of the root would be um, given with the formula C over A. So the C uh, from the equation is a negative 12. And the A is a 2, so it's negative 6. And product of the root would mean alpha times beta, right? So this is your existing sum of the root and product of the roots. Okay, so let's draw a line here. Now you are required to find a new equation that has the roots 1 over alpha and 1 over beta. So you have to find new sum of the root. New sum of the root would be 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta, right? Okay, so then what you do is uh, combine these two fractions. Uh, that will give you, let's see, that will give you uh, beta plus alpha over alpha beta by combining and making a common denominator. Now, what's the purpose of doing this? You see, now you can substitute the alpha plus beta, which is negative 5 over 2, right? So, substitute it, that's negative 5 over 2 over, what's the alpha beta? Negative 6. So, you get a negative 6 here. And your new sum of the root would be 5 over 12. Okay, and uh, let's proceed to find your new product of the root. The new product of the root would be 1 over alpha times 1 over beta. And that's 1 over alpha beta. And that gives you 1 over alpha beta is negative 6, yeah? Okay, so it's negative 1 over 6. So your new product of the root is negative 1 over 6. So now, what is the purpose of you doing this? It's because you can now substitute your new sum of the root and the new product of the root into the sum of the root product of the root format in a quadratic equation here. Now, what's that format? Yeah, The format is fixed. It's x squared minus sum of the root x plus product of the root equals to 0. So this is just another form of how quadratic equation can be written. You learned earlier that uh, there is a general form of a quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c, right? So um, that particular form can be changed into this form, the sum of the root and product of the root form, yeah? So uh, it's actually the same thing, uh, except that we do this for the convenience of you um, substituting SOR and POR into the equation. So what you can do now is new as uh, sorry we're not doing new sor we're doing new equation okay let's rub that off so new equation would be x square minus so what's your new sum of the root that's 5 over 12 so you put in 5 over 12 x yeah you're just substituting it inside here okay and then you do your product of the root. So plus, what's your product of the root? Negative 1 over 6. So put in your negative 1 over 6. That's equal to 0. Okay. Now when you're here, please do not leave your uh, equations like this. Yeah? Normally equations, you try to remove the fraction. So what you can do is to multiply the entire equation with a 12. So what you will get is a 12x squared minus 5x minus 2 equals to 0. So that's your new uh, quadratic equation with the root 1 over alpha and 1 over beta. Okay, so you notice that you do not have to separately find the alpha and beta, which means you don't have to find the roots. All right? Okay, so what you can do now is to try question B. Yeah? Try question B here, form the quadratic equation with roots 2 alpha and 2 beta. And I'll see you at the next video.